dead betraying me. I even saw the house is on social media. Some people put it on social media that the house is up for sale. <laughs> Good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm the girl Vapa. if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and i'm seeing a lot of people are watching and they didn't subscribe yet please subscribe to my channel leave a comment like these are the things that will make me grow that will keep this channel growing so today we are going to talk about a very sensitive topic as you, <coughs> you saw on the title and I understand it's very sensitive and I'm doing this because people asked me to do a house tour and I felt like I need to give a message across before I do that and i just want also to give a disclaimer that i'm not doing this to show off yeah it's not something i'm doing to show off actually that's the point i'm trying to give across and also one thing is what you need to understand with uh, this uh should not make you to rush i bought a house at the age of 24 just before I turned 25 and I really didn't plan for this it came unexpected so I ended up buying a house though I didn't plan to buy a house so this is how it happened I used to stay with my dad when I was going to university, he has a house in Mindo. And then after completing my university, we had uh, we had a lot of debts at uh, municipality, meaning that um, in most cases our water is gone or electricity, one of the two will be gone. And then they are like, my dad had to go to municipality to make some arrangements on how he will pay the amount. We didn't have a prepaid. And to make it worse, we had to buy the place. Someone built a, a bar in our yard. So it was a contributing factor to our water and electricity. So it was quite hard. It, like, you can't really handle every month the water bill is up almost 10,000 or more than 10,000 Namibian dollars. It was a challenge. However, we are not the only one in the house. The house was full of ghettos. My dad accommodated everyone. And there will be like maybe five people in a ghetto. So there was no way this water and electricity cannot go up. Everyone, everyone have their electricity in their ghetto and the water they can use the water in the house and we also have an outside tap that they can use so it was quite hectic so looking at this situation i now try to help my dad since i started working in 2017 2017 is when i got a proper job so i was like no i have i have started working my dad have been really pushing to to have this house so let me also assist let me see how we are going to tackle this i i was thinking of planning this um how to tackle this problem that we are in so i sit down with my dad and i was telling him no i think the bar is using up a lot of electricity and also a lot of water after sitting down with my dad we made the conclusion that okay the bar need to move out and see how things will work out and for him to agree i told him there was okay there was forty thousand 
uh, there was 40,000 amount hit on his palate. So I made a deal with him that I'm going to pay off the 40,000 Namibian dollars and then you, you remove the bar and I'll pay, you remove the bar and I pay the 40,000 that is still pending, that is still outstanding with his palate. Okay, it was a, a deal done uh, because I also put my conditions that if you are not removing the bar, then you see how things will go. But I'm not going to pay for water and electricity because this is a great loss. Like it's a big loss, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, we agreed. He will remove the bar. I'll pay the forty thousand to settle off the debts. And yeah, he talked to the owner of the bar. The bar owner moved, they moved, they found another place where they can do their business. And now I have to pay the 40,000. Okay, I, I had some savings. There was a problem. You're still paying off the outstanding amount and people are still using water and electricity, so they're still going up. And now i now because I, we after settling the debt it was now possible for us to put in a prepaid and i know my dad will not put in a prepaid so i decided okay let me just do everything this is my dad this is my home also let me just do it i put in i went to go apply for a prepaid i paid for it and then they installed the prepaid and now my dad was seeing that I was doing something like I was really helping and he can see change now we can uh, put on electricity if electricity is finished it's finished we need to get money to put on like to buy electricity it's not that thing you use electricity the way you want and just be month and so it was really good now um, my dad when he, he sees that uh, they are like the unit is about to finish it he, he tells the people guys electricity is about to finish you must be careful so and my dad was like no uh, so when I'm leaving window I will leave you the house like I, I can see you can look after a house you can handle a house I'm like oh okay that's really good to us even talking telling my dad okay so if you leave then uh, it means that I can actually put in flats I will remove the ghettos and put in flats so we can make money from a renter since I'm not buying the house okay deal deal done made a deal so the time came now when my dad have to retire first thing I had he's selling the house is that betraying me I even showed the house is on social media some people put it on social media that the house is up for sale <laughs> I didn't understand we agreed with my dad how is this possible now i talked to my dad he told me no i don't think you will qualify to buy the house so i'm selling the house my dad we like we did everything like we did everything actually to we did everything and now you are selling the house and the money that i spend in the house no, this is my house. Okay, it's your house. I understand it's your house. And I, like, I really didn't say it's not your house. Oh, okay. And the next thing I hear. Wow, okay, I'm not just selling the house. My dad is saying so. But I want to auction it. The one with, the, with more money is the one that take the house. Yeah, I was like, at this point, I don't think we are going to understand each other. So, 
<laughs> At this point, I don't think we are going to understand each other because my dad made up his mind that he is selling his house. Okay, my dad is selling his house. I now have to prepare myself to buy a house. And when we went, we went to do some paperwork and as we met one lady she's a good lady who works in in one of the bank like in the bank that we went to and um she was saying oh tete why are you selling your house you you have uh, you finished paying off your bond and now you want to sell the house yeah, I want to sell my house. No, why can't you just give the house to your child? This is my house. This is my house. Who are you to tell me about my house? This is what I want to do to my house. I want to sell my house. Okay, so the lady have to keep quiet. We continue with paperwork. And my dad was asking so much than the value of the house. He renovated the house and whatnot. So, because there was no, there were no cupboards in the house, he put in new tiles and whatnot. So he wanted to sell this house. We did all the paperwork. He was asking a lot of money, and the bank went to go evaluate the house, and the, the bank gave an amount. So it was like, okay, fine. The he, I think he was happy with the amount the bank gave. So I'm selling my house with this amount if you don't have it. End of the story. I was like, yo, I was not ready. I was not ready. It's a, it's a three bedroom house. So, yo, I have to buy a house. So now I was thinking, how am I going to survive buying a house? And everything, I was not ready, I was not ready, I was just, it was just too much, I was like, okay, maybe I'll take one room, and the other two, and the other two rooms, I'll rent them out. So, that's what I did, I bought the house, I rent out the other rooms, and that's how I survived, like, that's how I bought, I ended up buying a house. So please don't rush to buy a house. Buy when you are ready. With me, this was unplanned. I just bought a house because I felt like that was home. I've been there. I, I've been staying there for years, and now I have to move out. And I understand if you check out uh, my first story where I lied to my dad. I wasn't actually staying there. I moved out to go rent, but now I call that place home. I always come home like that's my home in window no i can't live and i can also let go the i can't let the place go so i have to buy a house at the age of 24. so that's how i bought the house at the age of 24 like unplanned and likely enough the the bank gave me that loan so my advice to everyone don't rush to buy a house if you are not ready and also some people are like don't do things because others are doing things do things when you are ready it should be from your heart like are you really ready to do so and the, also don't feel like you are behind if you don't have a property yet we are not in the same boat and God's timing is different so yeah so i'm going to i'm going to do a house tour and i hope you understand why i bought the house like so early i for me i feel like it's so early to buy a house at the age of 24 especially okay to us 
in namibia land is so expensive especially in the city it's very very expensive and we are struggling to pay the the bond back it's a struggle it's a struggle so buy a house when you are ready and understand one of uh, one of my friend one of my friend i don't really want to be specific was telling me no you should not buy a house uh, just let the house go if if your dad is selling the house and just don't it's too early for you how are you going to maintain a, maintain a house at your age and i was like you no know, i felt like i was really really connected and then i also had um that um, if you are buying a second house like and not a, a brand new house it's also a risky you don't know why the person is selling the house maybe there are other things in the house and whatnot but this one is a house you sleep nicely like it's a like it's a home like i can't let this house go and i couldn't afford to buy a brand new house so this was the house this was the house i think like you're going to buying a brand new house in a good location you probably buy it for 1.5 1.6 or 1.8 which i couldn't afford so i ended up buying that so i hope you will enjoy the house tour please like subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and wait for our house tour i hope you will like the place and i will explain everything when i'm doing the house tour about the house